Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Wellbeing Makes Sense. My name is Claude. And I'm Serge. And today, we're going to talk about a very important topic that is... Essential oils. Yes, so um, stay tuned. Oils. You've done your research. Tell us all about it. You are the ex the expert. See. Well, the definition of uh, essential oils basically they are um, they are all that they, they extract um, directly from plants, um, mostly from box, from flowers, uh, from fruits, uh, from leaf, um, even from seed. So they use a very uh, natural process to extract the oil and he comes in a very concentrated form. So, and we call that essential oil. Yes. Remember, not all essential oil are made equal. So you gotta do your research. Uh, there are companies that uh, dilute it. There are companies that uh, derives it in different ways. So you got to make your research to find out, you know, what's the, the best company that gives you uh, the, the most out of, uh, for your buck okay. and for your health. Yeah. Right. So these plants, um, when they get the oil out of it, it's very concentrated and very potent. So he has a lot of health benefit to it. So we're gonna give you some example. Um, for example, um, we have the frankincense, for example. Um, it helps improve respiration and can help people with bronchitis, with sinusitis, and other allergies. So you have that in your house, you can use it you know, um, and we're going to show you later a few ways that you can use these all to benefit from this. Um, another example you can take... Moving too fast. Right. So, uh, everybody is... I know most, most people have heard of eucalyptus. So, uh, it's, you, you find it like in the vapor uh, vix. So, the same thing. It's this natural form. The same thing as it does with the freaking scent. It helps with uh, improve respiratory uh, uh, symptoms, illness. Good. Um, you can use ginger, ginger oil, um, help reduce inflammation, support joints. So if you have a lot of um, joint problem, then you can use that to massage it, you know, and this can help uh, relieve that. And also, it's help with indigestion. People who have a lot of stomach problem, then you can use ginger oil to help with your stomach. Um, another product, uh, clove, you know, people use it uh, to cook because it, it's like a herb, but clove, uh, it's, um, antibacterial, it kills mm -hmm. parasites, if you have dental pain, if you take a little oil, you dab into your, you know, the area where it hurts, guess what, it's gonna relieve the pain too and the inflammation. And we also have grapefruit, right, the, um, the, the oil from the grapefruit can help support metabolism yeah. and help reduce cellulites. So people who have a lot of cellulites, you know, use some, rub it, rub it nicely. <laughs> right. Next one. Next one. Lavender, one of my favorite. It smells great. Um, it uh, improves your mood. You put it in your... Uh, diffuser and you smell it makes you feel happy and um, we kind of say that people who have who suffer from depression all right use lavender all right? that help boost your mood now, uh, especially in this time that we are living um, we have a lot of worries then 
take some time do some relaxation you know and while you are in your room just laying down you know relaxing listen to some good music put a little lavender scent you know have it going around the room and help you relax mm -hmm. yeah yeah what else we got um lemon lemon is one that is um used a lot in cleaning products you know because of its its antibacterial uh, effect so homemade um cleaning product we can make homemade cleaning product with lemon like a lot oil. of citrus mm -hmm. a lot of citrus uh, lemon orange all mm -hmm. these are useful yes exactly and uh uh, my wife made a video where she show you some DIY um, on how to make your own cleaning supply at home and other stuff. So we'll put a link of that video underneath uh, in the description box. So if you're not watching this on YouTube, so please go to our channel on YouTube and you will find the link and you can learn these things and um, practice them. Wow. You get the next one? I got the next one. Okay, let's go with peppermint. Ooh. Peppermint, it helps support digestion and also improves focus. And peppermint also gives you a boost of energy. Again, if you are feeling weak and tired, use peppermint. Also, peppermint can help re reduce fever, um, headache, and of course, relieve muscle pain. Yes. Rosemary, I want to read that one. Okay. Um, for those who have thin hair, thinning hair, uh, rosemary, once you add it to your shampoo, it can thicken the hair, makes it look healthier. Stop it. No? You want to give it a try? <laughs> no, I'm good. You're good. Okay, I think rosemary, if you need it. Um, the other thing is, not only does it help, it does wonders for your hair, it also helps with increasing brain function uh, and uh, increases uh, memory. That I can use for. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other one you want to point out? And there's so many. There's tea tree yeah. oil. There's, there's, there's a lot of herbs. Basil, um, lemongrass, one of my favorites. There is so many, and uh, they improve the respiratory, they help with your uh, breathing, with your mood, um, skin, as we, a lot of them anti-inflammatory, if you have cuts, if you have burns, uh, lavender helps, there's so many out there. So, we, we got to understand how important these things are, you know. We don't learn about these things in school, or in college, for, for that matter. But nature provides so many potent medication for us. If we only knew and if we use them, man, our life would be very different from what it is today. So this is why we have this show, trying to educate people about the blessings that already exist in nature. And, and, we, we, and we can... We're going to tell you, uh, when we are looking at the chemicals that we are using at home today, in of using this natural thing, we are basically hurting ourselves. No wonder we have all these diseases on the rise, cancer, asthma, and all these, these problems. Um, if you are looking at uh, labels of cleaning products, um, perfumes, um, everything that we are putting on our body, we can see all these chemicals, how dangerous they are. So let's give you a few examples of these chemicals. Let's start with the... Phthalates. The uh, pH is silent. Yeah, so we're going to write this down on the screen. And you see if you can read it. All right? And by the way, good advice if you can't read it. If you can't pronounce it. It's best not to use it. Yeah. So now, now the trick with the talents is that usually they don't write it down on the products. And it's widely used, especially in air fresheners, dish soap, toilet papers. Basically, 
uh, many of the things that smells good use phthalates, but they don't write it on it. They use fragrance. So, if you see fragrance on something, it's a it's it's a questionable thing, all right? Because fragrance can be anything, so it's questionable, um, and most likely have frag have phthalates in there. Now, this is a very serious chemical to put in your body. You see, um, because phthalates mess with your endocrine system. And endocrine system, when it's, it's huge. Endocrine system basically regulates um, so many functions in your body. So when you have chemicals that start messing around with this, then you're in trouble. And, uh, and for, for male, the phthalates are found to reduce sperm count. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's very serious. Um, let's take the next one. Uh, perk. Uh, um, let's see here. Perchloroethylene. Uh, that's why these... Uh, it's short for perk. You find it in um, carpet cleaners. Uh, you find it in a dry cleaning solution. And um, the effects of it is it neurotoxin. So it messes up with your brain. The skin cannot absorb these things and doesn't know how to digest it or uh, ab uh, absorb it correctly, right? So it goes directly straight into organs. And one of the uh, uh, organs that's affected is the brain. And also, a lot of studies are being done on it because they think that there's a link between this and cancer. They think that it's uh, basically a carcinogen. Um, let's get to the next one. Triclosan. Mm -hmm. And we find these in a lot of the uh, dishwashing uh, solutions, uh, hand cleaning solutions. Mm -hmm. Because it's all, it's also because it's often considered as antibacterial, right? And really, he does a bad job killing um, microbes, microbes, bacteria. Yeah, the, like the more the the microbes are not really being killed, there. So therefore, guess what? We're producing superbugs. You know, that's going to be highly resistant to uh, common uh, bacterial uh, medications. So let's take one that is more familiar to you guys. <laughs> ammonia. Ammonia, we use it a lot in cleaners to clean bathroom. Mm -hmm. This is a very toxic chemical. And when you are exposed to it, very often uh, people inhale it, you know, while cleaning. So this can be a trigger for people with asthma. And other respiratory illnesses. There's so many more. Chlorine, sodium hydroxide. That's where uh, a lot of oven cleaners cleaners come in. So imagine you're cleaning with your a very strong potent um, sodium hydroxide, and you go clean, and you're like now cooking, and you're the food is absorbing all these fragrance into it and guess what you're putting into your body so what does sodium hydroxide do to you um again it causes in high dose skin irritant um lung irritant um etc all right so i think you get the picture there are so many more that we can tell you but you get the idea and you can do your own research um, we are just here to give you some pointers and then you go uh, forward with it. So now we're going to show you a little bit of how you can use natural oil to your daily, in your daily life. All right. So this is one of our, one of the many diffusers we have in the house. A couple, one in the bath, uh, kitchen, the kids room and in the living room. And, um, you know, in the morning you turn it on and uh, it just, if you can see, you see the vapor there? Can you catch it there? 
I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you put some water in, put a couple of drops of whatever uh, oil you want, and voila. It smells mm. nice, it's not too strong, it's not an irritant to your, uh, to your nose. No, probably t talk to us about those vials a little bit. Well, if you mm. check my other uh, SEAT YouTube, um, <laughs> this is one of my favorites. These are uh, scented oil. We have rose, we have lilac, we have gardenia, jasmine. Uh, these are just the floral, the floral ones that I like. And um, again, got a your essential oil. They need to be stored in a dark glass uh, container because you want to keep. You want to keep it concentrated. You don't want to lose the fag uh, uh, fragrance that is that can be absorbed through the plastic if there's a plastic container. So it needs to be dark and uh, and needs to be glass. Okay, that's the best thing. And the other things that we do in the house. So um, uh, this is. Another thing that I use for the, <laughs> this is another, this is another uh, fragrance that we use in the house, you know, natural, orange peel, um, we use a uh, anise, we sometimes cin uh, cinnamon sticks, and under there somewhere are cloves, cloves, alright, and uh, water. Water and a couple of drops of essential oil, and what I do is just to bring the fragrance out. I warm it up for two minutes and then put it in the bathroom, and it has a citrus clove uh, smell. You want to smell it? it? Smells like orange. It smells juice. like orange juice. The first diffuser I had, um, it's connected through you know outlet, but for those who don't want to use outlet a lot. I have this little uh, machine right there. It's pretty cool. I do not know the name of it, but <laughs> you can purchase it. Uh, it's battery operated, and all you do is it comes with a, a filter thingy in there. And what I do is I drop a couple of uh, essential oil drops in there and, and put it back, and there's a fan. So it gives you, it fans out the oil through there, so it's a natural product that can be battery operated, and I had this for months, and um, <clears throat> and I've not, I do not need have it, I have not replaced the battery, so it's pretty good. And um, check my other video, like we did the uh, orange vinegar mm -hmm. uh, cleaner, that's pretty good. I'm doing another batch. It's just vinegar and orange peel. Okay, so what do we use this for? So this is the orange vinegar cleaner. Again, it's just uh, if you want to clean your countertop, uh, kitchen countertop, that's what I use it for. If I want to clean like uh, um, for, uh, kitchen furniture, I definitely use it for. That's what I use it for. Okay. And this is my pro my final product. This is our own homemade orange essential oil. This is a product, it's very nice. I, I, so this is how it's begin. We use the vodka, the orange peel. I mean, basically any cheap alcohol, okay? Don't go expensive. So, and then orange peel, and you let it sit for about a couple of days. Every, four, every, every day, you just shake it really, really well. And after four days, you take your you take your orange peel you find a um, a strainer you strain it and voila you have your own essential oil and i can take a a syringe take a couple of drops and put them in my diffuser and eventually one day i won't have to buy these things i can make my own <laughs> all right so this is equivalent equivalent to Orange essential pure oil from citrus. So this is the product. Let me smell it. 
I can open it. Oh. I want to see. Mm. So let's um, orange juice again. It smells like orange juice again. <laughs> yeah. So this is one thing. This is the next. This is uh, essential oil okay. me. So um, just another repeat. This is uh, our homemade dryer sheets. This is the lemongrass, I believe. This is the lemongrass. So you see now it's nice and soak. Right that see it? So what I do is vinegar, uh, essential oil drops, um, <clears throat> baby cloth, towel, and as we do laundry, we put it in and this is and it dries up obviously in the dryer and the clothes smell like the scent that you wish you put in so we no need to use any harsh chemicals like on our skin uh, that's risk for eczema um, uh, cancer uh, asthma any pulmonary ir irritant so this is how what we do to benefit us and our kids I hope you enjoyed this little tour so um, I just wanted to point out one final thing. Um, this is uh, Pine Sol, one of the most popular products um, on the market for cleaning. And I was looking for the list of ingredients that are in this. So I'm going to try to get as close as possible so maybe you can read the list of ingredients. If you look closely, you would see here it says um, active ingredient glycolic acid 1.75 percent and then other ingredients 98 percent that's our list of ingredients so what are in these 98 percent so you see this is how we get full with products so they put things on their labels that have no meaning at all you know, the purpose of the label, label is to help us know what exactly is in the, the product. But, they can get away with it. Um, and this happened in many other products, just like we talk about using fragrance. We don't know what fragrance is. You know? And there are plenty of other terms that, uh, that are like that. And these, the chemicals that, that are in these uh, products can be very... Uh, detrimental to our health so you need to be careful the 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 industry doesn't care about your health you know they are there for, to make profit so you have a responsibility to take chair to take charge of yourself of your health and the health of your family so we hope that this video was helpful we're gonna put plenty of links uh, on the description box so if you're not watching this on YouTube please go to our YouTube channel channel at Wellbeing Makes Sense and you will see plenty of links uh, links to the other videos where we show you the DIY and uh, other articles that can keep you more informed about this chemical so until then until next time yeah thanks <laughs> bye, bye. bye. Oh, <laughs>